Hi, I'm Dr. Sivanti Lamai. I'm a medical oncologist in Mumbai, India. I'm the director of precision oncology at my center, Kokila Bandhirubai Ambani Hospital. I'm also uh, leading the clinical and translational research program in oncology at the center. I'm here today to talk about the editorial in Journal of Immunotherapy and Precision Oncology written by Dr. Aung Nang. What a cliche. He writes, being realistic and optimistic in curing cancer. So when we talk about being uh, realistic in curing cancer, it really brings to fore whether this is a reality. But Dr. Nang very well describes all the prevent, uh, preventive measures, the primary preventive measures and the secondary preventive measures that have been taken to achieve this goal. Like HPV vaccination, like hepatitis B vaccination. These are preventive measures that have been taken primarily to really decrease the incidence of cancer. Lifestyle modification, like stopping smoking, like alcohol, uh, stopping alcohol, um, dietary modifications, decreasing obesity. And then secondary prevention measures like uh, developing your methods of detection, developing um, better methods of early detection, diagnostic methods that You've got will really catch the cancer early. Both the primary prevention and the secondary prevention measures are actually um, designed to decrease morbidity and mortality from cancer. But is this enough? Are we already done? And Dr. Nang argues that we have a long way to go and that is the reality. He also argues that one size fits all no longer works and I couldn't agree with him more. The entire concept, the core of uh, precision oncology is to try and personalize therapy for our patients, to understand the tumor biology, to understand the tumor microenvironment, and really personalize therapy for that particular patient to achieve best efficacy and to decrease toxicity. And Dr. Nang argues really well to this effect, where he says, Studying the biomarkers of response and studying the biomarkers of toxicity would be core and center of designing personalized therapy for our patients. And really today, there is no other way to treat the patients. One has to really try and understand what drives the patient's cancer try and design treatment that would get the maximum benefit for the patient, preserving quality of life and reducing toxicity. In the editorial, Dr. Nang welcomes researchers, clinicians, scientists to put together their work, their discoveries and submit to the journal. Journal of Immunotherapy and Precision Oncology is dedicated to this effort and really hopes to drive this message far and beyond. It's a global effort and the idea is to reach the places that we haven't been able to and truly bring an effective method of driving the central idea of precision oncology forward. He also discusses two wonderful review articles in the journal. One on uh, personalizing immunotherapy and the divide that exists between the effort and the reality. And the second 
on um, cardiac toxicity from immunotherapy, which is a very rare uh, finding, but it does occur. And there is lovely collation of data around that and presented as a review article. So we, did, we truly hope that you would visit the journal and read and enjoy these articles. At the end, I would thank Dr. Nang for welcoming me to the editorial board of JIPO, which is a truly diverse editorial board. I hope uh, as a clinician from India, representing precision oncology, that is core and center to the way I practice uh, oncology. I'm able to bring some interesting material to the table and participate in the very, very interesting discussions that I see happening as Jaipur moves ahead. Thank you again and good luck.